Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I just did the tie rods and ball joints and everything on my uh, Ranger here. And you know, it's kind of a beater truck at this point. Shush, shush. My dogs are making noise. <laughs> Look at them. But anyways, I'm gonna do the alignment on uh, on the front end myself, the toe at least. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna be able to adjust camber and stuff, but uh, I'm gonna do the toe with a little bit of, little bit of crafty engineering or ingenuity, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not engineering because this is going to be a DIY all the way here. We're going to get ourselves a, get ourselves a tape measure. Got that. Nice 16 foot fat max Stanley. And I got some uh, inch and a quarter square tubing here. Now you can use whatever you want. Go to the Home Depot. Get just you get yourself a run of square tubing as long as it doesn't flex. I happen to have this stuff from another project. Watch out, guys! We're making a car video. This this is not a dog video. I know, I know. They thought it was a dog video. Um, but just basically, I'm gonna strap this tubing to the wheel and tire, not too tight to where it starts to distort into the tire, but just enough. It's almost hanging on there, kind of. It sort of wedges itself in there. And then, guys, come on. You're interrupting. You're interrupting, that's rude. But uh, I'm gonna take some measurements just to, just to roughly make sure that uh, they're all even on all sides. You can see, I'm gonna go from about the tire here. We got about eight inches. We got about eight inches. And I'm going to measure from the floor up on all four sides. It's about nine. What's that looking like? It's just shy of nine. It's about eight and seven eighths or eight and three quarters. Where are we at? Over here. Pretty close. Pretty much the same thing. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just to make sure we got them roughly, you know, in the same kind of spots in the space. And that's, I mean, we're looking on the money here. I just did this real quick. I just call that close enough. All right, I'm gonna stretch my tape measure across here. All righty. I'm gonna go from the inside, I guess. Might as well. It's hooked up over there and here. Now, if you have a vehicle that doesn't sit as high off the ground as a mini truck or a truck, this might be a little more difficult for you uh, to accomplish, or you might have to put the bars lower on the tire than I am. But for the sake of demonstration, on the front here, we're going to measurement of, that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 66 and 13 sixteenths is what we're coming up with. 66 and 13 sixteenths. Let's see if I can get this over here. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh wow, we are hella out. <laughs> We're at like 67 and uh, 7 eighths. We're out by over an inch. Towed in, so the wheels are towed in like that. You know, like this, so we're gonna have to fix that. Since we know we're towed in at this point, we're gonna have to factor in the steering wheel position as well. Kind of want to get your steering wheel centered up as good as possible, but it's, it's not going to be perfect if you're doing it like this. So, that's pretty close. What I would do from here is pick the wheel that looks the straightest. Just eyeball. You know, I actually counted the threads on this side when I did the tie rods. I was able to. And I think this is about where she was. Cause that, that looks pretty straight, and it's looking like this side over here. Is the one kind of towed in a bit. So I think I'm going to adjust this one to compensate. So you just got to have to do that. I mean, you could certainly get your wheel dead straight and everything. Do it this way. You just have to tweak it a lot and go and, and then just a lot of trying and retrying it until it until it gets there. But uh, I'm not too worried about the wheel being straight. I just wanted to drive straight relatively within a degree or two. I don't really care. All right, under the front of the truck now, I just put brand new inner and outer tie rod ends on. So this should be pretty easy to adjust. You know, if, if 
for whatever reason you're trying to adjust old ones uh it may not be so easy to break these loose and whatnot but uh i'm just using a crescent i couldn't find my 13 millimeter wrench anyways so uh get this nut loose adjust the crescent to the right size did kind of put it on tight though there we go all right now that's loose we're actually gonna turn it in a couple turns and then take some more measurements and see where we're at and the thing is worth mentioning you should definitely do this alignment with the car on the ground if possible i know if it's a car it's probably gonna be hard to get under it like this since this is a truck but uh having it up off the wheels is gonna mess with your measurements a little bit. Wow, these are some tough, these are some stiff inners here because this thing don't even want to spin. Oh Lord, these are new. Yeah, these are brand new inners, so they're real tight. Wait, I should actually, wait. I'm going the wrong way, I need to bring it out. <laughs> I'm an idiot. More focused on making the video. Since we're toe in, I actually need to spin this out. A couple of turns, and God, these are tight. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go a few turns and then redo our measurements. One more for good luck, so then we'll see where we're at. And we don't gotta put the nut back, let's just measure it again and see where we're at, if we're getting in the ballpark or not. Alright, so now we're at 66 and 15 sixteenths. I'm gonna turn it uh, another turn or two. Cause I don't feel like it's quite there yet. Let me get another turn two on that, and then we'll do this again. I'll take a back measurement. Now we went way far. We're at sixty-seven and an eighth. That's I was hoping for like sixty-seven. We're at sixty-seven and eighth. I think we're toe out now. But let's get a bearing on where we're at. Let's do the back. We're still not there. So we're still not there because I'm at sixty-seven and uh, five eighths here. We're getting closer. A couple more turns. I'm gonna get another turn or two on this. On this uh, tie tie rod, inner tie rod. Going the right way, right? Yeah. Let's take another measurement. All right, here we go. We're getting, we're getting there. Sixty-seven and a quarter. That that sounds about the halfway point, don't it? So let's see where we're at back here. Hopefully, about sixty-seven and a quarter. It's important to note that you do actually want like a sixteenth toe in or so, or like 0.2 degree toe in or something like that. So we'll take a 16th toe in still. So that would mean if this measurement's slightly bigger than 67 and a quarter, I'm happy with it. So let's see. Right now we're looking to make up for about an eighth of an inch, I'd say. That way, one way or another. A couple more turns on this. All right, I, think I got a good feeling. Got a good feeling. 67 and a half. No! Oh! I think that means we went too far. Because this was 67 and a half back here. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're 67 and a quarter here now. So we're toe out now. Back the other way a little bit.
All right, let's see what that says. 67 and 5 16 67 and uh, 5 8 Just another turn this way. I'm going to do it off camera. This is getting annoying at this point, but we're almost there. All right, final measurements ended up 67 and 5 16 in the front and 67 and 3 8 in the back, which is gives us our exact 16th of an inch uh, toe in, which, uh, you know, who knows what that really is in degrees. This can't be much since we got some pretty long bars on here. It actually does get a pretty fine tuned adjustment with bars this long. We're talking just, you know, a little bit of a turn here and there made a 16th, you know, 16th or an eighth of a difference. So I actually trust this pretty well. But if we want to put this on alignment rack, we'd be pretty, I mean, pretty dang close, if not dead on. So for the, for the old beater ranger, I think I'm going to be happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up. Make sure the nut on the uh, high rods tightened on both sides. Make sure I got them torqued good. Lock it in place here. It looks like it's spinning the, it's just spinning the whole tie rod end and everything though. It's locked where it was. There we go. Nice and tight. I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll live with that. Look, no hands on the wheel. Driving dead straight, son. The DIY alignment did it, boy. It's actually, I mean, it's never drove this straight actually. <laughs> Dude, I nailed that shit. We're doing an alignment video. This is not a pit bull video. Stop pit bulling. You're pit bulling right now. You're pit bulling. You're pit bulling too hard. Get out of here. 